lo he demostrado, no es un juego Te he brindado amor verdadero Todos los momentos fui sincero No sé qué tú pretendes Tuning in to the greatest podcast out of Atlanta Today we got a very special guest It's your boy Kirby Gomez, you already know what it is Yeah man Yeah, for the people that don't know where you from Man, I'm here from Atlanta, man. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised and shit, man. Born and raised. Kirby Gomez, yeah, man. What part of Atlanta you grew up in? We stayed in the north side, man, right there in Norcross, Graves Road. Yeah, mm -hmm. where all the Migos at? It's a lot of Hispanics out there now. You know what I'm saying? When we first um moved out there, it really wasn't that many. Oh, yeah. It wasn't that many, so, you know, it's growing. You know, Atlanta in general is growing, dog. Like, we... We not out here like that, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. We not that deep out here. Like, if you go out to the West Coast, that's still Mexico. <laughs> oh, yeah, you talking about like Cali, Cali and all that shit. shit. Texas, Te you know Right there by the borderline and shit, huh? They yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah, Paso, todo. Motherfuckers be crossing the border just to go get some goddamn. Uh, <laughs> I mean, shit, you know, like, they, they let people cross over just to come work and then go back home. You know, TJ, you know, Tijuana, all that shit. Like, Damn. that lets you know how it is still. That's why I said, like, yeah. I just got to travel out to the West Coast this past year yeah, on the tour and shit. And I, I realized, like, dog, I had never left past Texas. You know what I'm saying? For so, real? nah, bro. I, yeah. I was probably the only Mexican that hadn't gone to the West Coast, <laughs> dog. And when I did, I was like, my eyes just opened up to a whole new world. And my manager, you know, slash producer, mm -hmm. uh, Max Manny, shout out to him, Grammy yeah. winner. Max Manny will probably chop it up about him in a little bit. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, one, he kept telling me, like, man, you know, you ain't left Georgia. Like, bro, you need to travel. You need to do stuff. Like, wait till you go to the West Coast and show enough when we hit that tour out there. I, the love was just different, dog. Like, it's just, it's, it's crazy the out there. The vibe, too, huh? Yeah, Especially bro, like, in Cali. Especially California, dog. Like, the people are more cool. Um, Not taking away from anything else, but I just feel like just the vibe out there is just chill oh, you yeah. know what i'm saying like it's just way chill out there because i think for like every hispanic in the land especially like they see you like rapping and shit mm -hmm. they be like man they go off another mexican trying to rap and trying shit you be, know trying and to it be, be your own people too the one that be it is I, you I got, feel... you, don't get me wrong you got someone on that will support you yeah. and someone like you know just plain hang and shit like and that's um more so yeah out here because yeah. You know, a lot of us are still first generation Mexican Americans. So we're still kind of stuck to that old motherland mentality. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Fact. And 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 then I realized that having to go out to the West Coast, you got generations and generations of Mexicans that have been there that most of them don't even speak Spanish no more, bro. You know, I ran I went to the gas station and I was like, you know, hey don me puede dar veinte en la cinco? He was what the like, fuck you the fuck you, what? <laughs> man, I don't speak no Spanish. And this is an old Mexican dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, and damn. I'm like, oh, my bad, man. Let me get, you know, someone's on number five. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, man. Ain't got nothing against all people, man. You know, just don't speak that shit. I'm just like, damn. Like, and, and to see somebody now is like kind of seeing one of our uncles, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, in, in them same situations. So you got generations and generations out there. So, but it's, it's love. You know, I feel like it, it's more acceptance out there. The fan base. When I look at all my numbers, analytics, everything is on the West, West Coast, West yeah. Coast. You know what I'm saying? And because like and you said, cool. they deep as hell out there. And Shit, really, okay. honestly, that's what it is. That's why one thing that I did learn, you know, these past couple years of doing what I'm doing, yeah, is that the people that I'm on tour with, you know, I'm on tour with MC Magic. This is one of the OGs, you know what I'm saying, in the game. He's been around for years, dog, and. <laughs> We're good, you man. know, yeah, and he's still eating crazy. So once you make hits, you know, once you have a catalog like them, you know, Magic, Baby Bash, Lil Rob, <clears throat> then you can, you can eat forever, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's just, the, you know, the music business is just how it is. You get a catalog, you're going to eat forever. But with the Hispanic community, with our people, you know, once you have, a good fan base within our culture, dog. It's a wrap. Like yeah. you're in there, you're oh, tapped yeah. in. Like yeah, yeah. you know, we're not letting you go. And this, we're more accepting. You know what I'm saying? Accept you know to certain things, but yeah. but with the music is fire and you getting it, dog. Like it's gonna happen. That's why I said like right now it's not that more. I'm so catering them. You know the the the, the pay. The, you know our peoples and stuff. But in general, it's like once you break in with our people, like why wouldn't you want to start with you know your own culture? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But even though like I said, I. I do music, you know what I'm saying, for everybody, but you know, right now I'm 
I'm with my folks and we getting it. But when you listen to what I do, you wouldn't even think it's a Hispanic doing it or a Mexican. <laughs> and I get that shit all the time and be like, oh, hey, oh yeah. that's you right there, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, you don't sound like what you look like. And I'm just <laughs> like, okay. At first, I'm thinking like, oh, man, well, well you know, because I look like what? You know, maybe I got to slim down. And I always thought that. It was yeah. like, oh, you got a fat R&B singer. Like, nah, man, like, you know. The females love it. <laughs> they, they ain't style, you know though. Look at on Raw Wave. You know what I'm saying? She's <laughs> getting it, dog. You got a wave right now, man. Look chubby, my Especially, like, like the, um, the singing stuff right now is, like, I ain't going to say no autotune, but you know that. That that we're just you know what I'm talking about that yeah. that flow that is like mm-hmm. is taking over man like it's crazy. But let's take it on back before you went on tour like like what like what even made you like you know get into all the music or like start doing music. Um, it it dog and and this as crazy as it sounds like people be like man you know I've been doing music since so I was two years old I played the piano. Me dog literally it was like I've always liked music, mm-hmm. but I never. You know what I'm saying? Like they like to the point where I'm gonna be like, man, I'm gonna learn how to play the guitar now. Nah, nah, it was a couple years back, bro. Probably like five years ago is when I first started really getting into it because um I was just kind of like I didn't have nothing to do, dog. And, and you know, <laughs> I, I had like I had like a depression. I was going through like some downs in my life, and you know what I'm saying? Went through some 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 legal issues that literally had to stay home. <laughs> I Damn. couldn't leave the mm-hmm. house. So, like, I got to writing and, you know what I'm saying, like, my mom gave me some advice, like, write it down, you know what I'm saying, your problems and just write this shit down and see what's going to happen. And some of that shit started sounding like poetry. And then I just started kind of just going in on it. And then I met one of my homies that played the accordion and he took me to one of his sessions and it was Mexican music, you know what I'm saying? So I sat in on one of those sessions and dog like i fell in love with the process of just like, how shit, how it happens yeah. yeah so before i started doing r&b uh music and pop and all that and rap i was doing mexican music like straight hold on you still you got it up yeah you still got yeah it up? like that's just still up and everything like I, I i don't wrote some artists and straight mexican banda music you know what i'm saying with the end do 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 like you know what i'm saying <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that's hard but though that's how it started so yeah. before i even did any of this you know, hip hop or anything. It was it was straight Mexican music, bro. And I was there vibing and doing the whole boots and everything. And it just it just didn't work out for me because of the people that I was working with. Yeah. But it introduced me to to music in general. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and yeah. then um I got to work with another homie of mine that he had a little setup at the house and that's when it all started. Like, hey, bro, like, lay lay some vocals down. We need a hook for this and that. So I was like, all right, cool, man. Let me try it. And I did it. And I, I didn't really like it in English just because I was so used to the whole Mexican shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me. So after that, it was like, cool, let's let's keep doing this. And it, it was, man. It was it. Yeah, it was man. it. Like another homie of mine joined the group and we became a group. Yeah. And it was a rap. Well, like, what made you like, like stay focused to keep doing music? Because you know you had them certain people, like they'll do music mm-hmm. for like a year or two and be like, oh, fuck it, I ain't ready to know when they quit. Yeah. What it's made hard. you, you know, kept going? Man, it's it's just um, like I felt like it it gave me something to do, bro. Like at first, like I said, it gave me something to do. It got me out of the house after I got over my issues with mm-hmm. you know with the law and all that. Yeah. It gave me something to do, and it kept my mind off of you know what I'm saying everything that it, that had happened. You know, my partner was doing you know fifteen a life and. You know, I was involved with some stuff they had done, and and then you know, I I was just blessed to, you know, what I'm saying I had fallen into what you know them consequences, but yeah, I was just like I said, bro, like I wouldn't leave the house, I wouldn't do nothing. So when this came into my life, it gave me like a purpose to just pursue, and I couldn't stand in front of people <laughs> and talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I couldn't be like, you know, hey, my name is Nah, like so it 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 kind of. Boosting my confidence being in front of people because let's just be honest, bro. You can't perform if you're scared to be in front of people. Oh, yeah, that's you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. you just can't. That's not what you, this yeah. ain't going to be for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You have to be out there on some but great hey, childhood look, or something. But, but in this era, it might work out. We're not performing wise, but like, you can make money off streaming. So you oh, don't really yeah. got to, I mean, either way yeah. you go, you is missing out on money on performing, yeah. but. Now and yeah. then you get to the point where you can make a hit song and make millions off yeah. streaming, you know? Just off the off the web alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. I, I seen an interview with I think they had 
NBA young boy was talking. He's like, man, I done made a two, three million dollars just staying at the crib or something yeah. like that. And I was just like, damn, boy, that's what's up. Yeah. It's possible and it's happening. Hey, I've yeah. seen it. Yeah, you're right. Nah, shit. I mean, it happens we in like. a whole new fucking generation of technology and all it this is. shit, yeah. Yeah, it is, bro. This ain't it. But, you know, it's still, you know, having a. Um, a fan, like presence, you know, go. Yeah. Through. Seeing in, in front yeah. of people is always going to be something different for them just because they get to see you and touch you and experience what you do live. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, yeah. And the tour live is really what, what brought that up to me. Like, I was always, I, that was my mentality. Like, man, I'm put out this tape. I'm going to put this out, and then, you know what I mean? It'll go off. But once we hit the tour and I was able to see how people's reactions was really to the music, I was like, it, it gave me more of a, okay, like, Motivation this is what it is. And that's, that's another yeah. issue, too. Like, it, it gave, I was always doing something mm -hmm. that, you know, it gave me a reason to be like, okay, there's more. Once you accomplish a certain thing, I was like, okay, you know what? We could keep doing this. And and I think that's probably what, going back to the question, you know, is it, it's probably what makes a lot of people quit is like, dog, you don't see no progress. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That it just don't, you don't progress. You're not really going to see nothing. So, and then just life in general, bro, because oh, yeah. being independent, <laughs> that's oh, you going to go your ups and downs. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? It, it, people don't understand how much money it oh, they, takes yeah, to, they, to they, do this because they see like the rapper like some rappers they think because they easily blew blew up and shit but they don't really know somebody behind the scenes helped them out to get to that position quick yeah. as fuck exactly and like when people start rapping they, like you said they're gonna see like oh you need money to push your music it ain't no just thousands if you and want thousands, that hundred thousand more likely you're gonna spend that 20 to 15k yeah. to get that 100 g's mm -hmm. you know like you gotta yeah. spend money on your on your it's career not, it's not easy dog like this shit is so you know, yeah, I've yeah. seen people go broke. Like I've seen people flip. You know, and and a lot of the time, bro, it's somebody with the bricks <laughs> that invested. <laughs> like, yo, it's always somebody. It's somebody yeah. with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. how it is too. I've seen, you know, dope boys come in and they they be dropping all this money and they be having the trashest songs. And then there be Man. somebody that be that be fired that they, they can't even in. afford to yeah. shoot a video, and you be yeah. like, damn, this shit is so twisted. But that's yeah. how it is, man. Money makes. Can break a record, dog, and then and, and that's hey, really what it is. You, you know what I'm saying? Lying, and and, and I've, I've, that's really what it was for me. Like for a long time, being independent just shows. You know what I'm saying? The the motivation you have yeah. for yourself and 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 the hard work is gonna get you. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere because mm -hmm. it's not cheap, dog. It's, so, it's not. Do you think being independent is 70 30, 70 percent struggle, and you know 70, 70 30 basically? Yeah, I mean I can I can relate to that. You know, not dig yeah. it because. You're going to go through, like you say, not hell, but you're going to go through a lot of fucking down dog, most of the time independent. You don't understand, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? At first, it's like I said right now, you know, when, when I go over my financials yeah, and, and, and you know, we still pay taxes. We still got to do what you do, of course. Yeah, we ain't yeah, trying yeah. to hit no Wesley Snipe. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, you go over everything that you do and you're like, dog, I don't drop this much money on this shit. Like. You know what I'm saying? That's a brand new car. I could have been riding in the 2020. Like, you know, I could have been doing this and that. Or I could have invested that into a crib or, you know what I'm saying? Or just different stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, passion for what you do is what it is. Music oh, yeah, is, you know, I feel, and that's what I said. I tell people all the time, like, dog, like, I feel like it saved my life into a whole different, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. situation. Like, dog, I who knows? I wouldn't yeah, never I thought. You, what, what, what would you be doing right now if you want to be doing music? You know what I'm saying? Growing up being Mexican, you know what I'm saying? I always had family that did construction, construction yeah. you know what I'm saying? To the day, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we did a, electrical work. So oh, yeah. I'd probably be pff, out yeah. there, you know, and I still did. Before I before I did this full time, nigga, I was <laughs> doing electrical work. I was out there working, niggas swinging but tools. Look, that's another thing, though. I don't ever get this. Like, why all the Hispanics, especially like Mexican parents, they always tell you, like, go to work with, you know, your dad or some shit. Let them teach you how to do mm -hmm. construction and tell them, instead of telling them, like, hey, go start a business, you know? Mm -hmm. It'd be crazy to me. Like, I think it's like a cycle that every Mexican, that's why you, it's not too many Mexican, like, millionaires and billionaires, because, like, we stuck in this cycle that, like, our parents keep telling us, go to work, go yeah. to work. And we, instead of telling us, like, go get this business, go make this business. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only a few of us that's really out here. It's true. Like and, that. and and no no joke about, about that. Like, it's just, we get caught up in certain things, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and that's a culture that's, that's one of them. Like, yeah. we get trapped 
into a mentality that's mm-hmm. like it, that's the only way out. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, and like that, like I said, our culture, we're hard workers, bro. Oh, that's yeah, that's I'm proving. Like when we did, when I was doing the construction shit, there was nothing anybody could say. Like you know, Hispanics in general, oh, yeah. Daniels, everybody be out there, and it's like you know, white folks, white folks. You know, there was a few that did it, but at the end of the day, the labor comes from us, bro. Like this oh, shit is right. undoubted. You know what I'm saying? But it, they, it when it comes to construction. You know, with me having to do it for so many years, it's like there's a way to make money. If if whoever you're dealing with teaches you the ropes on how to progress, you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell because yeah. there's money in this dog. Like if it you really, really become a contractor, subcontractor, and just stack your money up to get to that position to 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 do it, yeah. dog, it's a wrap. You know what yeah, I mean? You're yeah, gonna yeah. be making money. But what people don't do is you get comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Start working day to day and just working hard yeah, ain't fine, always yeah. going to be everything. You oh, got to yeah. work smart too. And when they say that, that's becoming part of the business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what, that's why I didn't want to be like, nah, I don't want to be like somebody. Bro, I was working with people that were like 45, 50 years old. Exactly. And they've been doing it for 20, 30 yeah. years, dog. Same thing. And I say I it's a cycle that repeats it's itself. A cycle. Like- it's a cycle. So it takes to be around the right people. To, to to open up your eyes to different situations, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like us being here <clears throat> now is our job, dog, to to share the knowledge with with people like you oh, know yeah, what I'm right. saying, that that are coming up, especially Hispanic kids and and, and and you know, black kids and you know, kids in general, white, whatever. Like yeah. I'm not trying to just say our people, but at the end of the day, we are the ones that need most of this information brought to our attention because oh, yes, other people have it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More easily obtained. So yeah. us and as a culture, dog, we have to definitely step, push for step up. Progress, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's gotta progress, 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 progress. The only thing I see somebody like an owner is probably like a fucking like a progresso and shit like the Mexican story. You yeah. know, like that's all I always seen. Like, and even then, they have like white investors that yeah. have gone in with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's fact. always, it's always something else. Like one of the biggest, um, um, what do you call it? Landscaping companies mm-hmm. that I was that I was always running into when I was doing construction. All Mexicans. The but subcontractors was Mexicans, but the, the owner, owner was this white, white dude. Yeah. yeah, and I think it was. Um, I don't even want to say the name because I ain't trying to have them hit my <laughs> IG like, "What you mean?" What you mean? So what you, you know? trying to say? They right. <laughs> so it's like, but when I found that out, I was like, "What?" Like oh, yeah. you know, and the second dude in charge, he was just working. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like he, I would have figured he'd had a couple thousand invested, but nah, he was just running the cruise. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, dog, like. You know everything. Take it around with it, man. Go get you a loan, bro, and go buy these tools yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I brought it up like, yo, why don't you get you another, you know what I'm saying, investment or a loan or do something? Nah, man, that's too much, man. That's like. You know what they is? They just got to take a risk of like losing everything. I think so, bro. That's really. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's one of the things, you know, people going to be trying to downplay our people. It's not that though. It's we, we a lot of us see this yeah. every day. You know what I'm saying? Fact. With our parents and family members that that want to play it safe and just don't yeah. want to take that risk. And unfortunately, dog, that shit gets passed down through what we see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. why we limit ourselves to like, nah, maybe, uh, nah, bro. Like, if uh, if you've got papers, you know what I'm saying? Like how I used to say my mom and them, like, yeah, I ain't got nothing to worry about. The world's yours. Where's yours? Whether you have papers or not, even though you have limitations to being here, you know what I'm no, saying? No, but like there was some Mexicans, like you know, because they don't know some, like you know, like I ain't gonna say the old heads, but you know, the older generation, they don't know. Like they always think, like, oh, you need papers to do this and that. In reality, you don't, because most of these billionaires and millionaires, they're not even from the United States. They mm-hmm. foreign people. You That's know? true. They come over here and get their visa and start building these fucking businesses over here and shit. You be like, what yeah. the fuck? It's crazy. I just seen something on the um on the Netflix about um. What's his name, man? I forgot his name. It's cause it's, it's the, the he just he married into Trump's family. He married, I think, one of his daughters. Wait, so my, oh, Kush, Kush, I don't Kush, even know their family. Kush, something I just like know, that. I just know fuck them. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So this dude's family, they're like Jewish or whatever, and they 
his great grandparents were involved in the Holocaust and, you know, they were survivors and oh, shit, they, they was up top in like Jersey or somewhere or Philly. One of them, I can't, like I said, I only seen a little bit of it, but I hadn't only heard about the company they had built yeah. and it was through their great grandparents or, or grandparents or something. But it was through them that they, you know, they wasn't from here. They was immigrants. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm saying most of the people that can't got these fucking million dollar companies, they, their parents were immigrants and shit. To the day. That's what I said, dog. That's why people are like, oh, they're going to shut us down, the government, this and that. It's like, dog, people are going to double think about that. They're not, it, it's, yeah, yeah. it's, I don't know, dog. This is one of them lands. Me and my brother was talking about this. Like, he's actually the one that brought it up. Like, dog, like, I don't even think they'll get to that point. But if they do, there's going to be something else behind it. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. not going to be like, this This is Corona is why we did it. No, it's, it's, it's going to be. <laughs> something oh, yeah. bigger behind it just like they always do oh yeah fact when you on first started like coming out of Atlanta like you know doing your music what type of love or like or did you get more love or hate out of Atlanta just Atlanta Atlanta in general it was um I mean it was love bro because love. um you know there's only but so many of us here oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying fact. even there's a lot of artists out here getting it you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. trust me bro like Everywhere I go, they always ask, so, you know, out of Atlanta, you know, Cap G, you, and yeah. what else? I'm like, I start naming people, woo, woo, and they're like, oh, okay, we ain't never, like, no, there's <laughs> thousands of here <laughs> rapping yeah. and singing, yeah. we just, they haven't, you know what I'm saying, the exposure for us out here hasn't gotten to what it is, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but, like I said, once you go to the West Coast, there's different venues and different places that give you the opportunities, mm, you yeah. know what I'm saying, out here, for some reason, I don't know why, but a lot of Hispanics kind of we stay within the outsides of Atlanta. Like, why oh, yeah. not come to the inner city where, you know what I'm saying, yeah, it's yeah. at. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, people go to these other clubs and do little stuff out there. Like, I know the love's there, but the city, come to the city and deal with blacks and whites and everybody. You know what I'm saying? And then oh, you yeah, see it right. happen. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's love, dog. Like, I've done nothing but you know what I'm saying? All African American rooms. I've done all white rooms. You know what I'm saying? And it's been love, and that's why I've been able to, you know what I'm saying, kind of deal with everybody because yeah. my music is catered for everybody. At the end of the day, you know what I mean. But you, and then you kind of learn how to work different people too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like music wise, you know what I'm saying. You know who likes what or whatever. And, you get to incorporate that into your sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be trying to tell like some Mexican artists, like, don't get lost in the, I ain't going to say the sauce, but don't get lost in the rap game because you know how you got them Hispanics that like, they think they like so street and now they're like, oh, I, they think they black now. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. nah, you forever going to be Hispanic. Don't ever yeah. like, they get lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, I mean, <clears throat> at the end of the day, no matter what, what you look like is always what we're portrayed as. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I said, I always get it everywhere I go. To this day, dog, they can listen to my music. And then they be like, I never thought you'd look like this. I didn't know that was you. I thought that was some black guy singing. <laughs> or I thought singing or rapping. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Or, or whatever. I was like, I think that's you. Yeah, oh, shit, mommy, go say black. It's like, dog. <laughs> like, but unfortunately, that's what it's always going to be. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, Thousands of people always said, yeah, I got the, I got the song with Cap G. Shout out to my nigga Cap G, you know what I'm saying? And they be like, wait, hold on, that was y'all? Like, yeah, damn, what the? Until they see the video, then they're like, mm -hmm. bro, I never thought that was him. <laughs> like, he had a hit record on the on the, on the the uh, radio. Yeah, radio. People, you know, I've thought, you know, me, you know, me, when I shit was playing, they just like, people be like, I never thought that's what you look like. And then automatically judge you, you know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Fact. So yeah, yeah. no matter what you do, going back to your question, it's like, you can act and do crazy stuff, like, no matter what, you're still going to be... Yeah, yeah. What you look like is what they gonna do. So, how know? the hell you even getting on that song? Like, how you even you and KG like network? Uh, for, like collab. Just I, you know, I've known these peoples and stuff. You know, I had ran into them countless of times out here. Like I said, you know, it's only but so many of us mm -hmm. out here, man. So, it was um, I can't remember, man. It's been so long ago, dog. Like, how we even linked up? But yeah, um, yeah, we we been homies, bro, and like I said, but you know, before anybody got signed, oh, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying. So that's how long it's been, you know what I'm saying. So once my work started signing and yeah. doing all this stuff, video started. That's going when everybody on, started yeah. going off. Yeah, like you know, he started doing this thing. I started doing my thing. So it's been love, dog, to yeah. this day. You know, he hit me up. Ooh, I did come on, me too. You know what I'm saying. And we. That's one thing I think about what was going on with us is like. 
we clicked in the sense of, bro, we show love to whoever we feel is dope. You know what I'm saying? If you're dope, you're dope. I mean, whether you're Hispanic or black, white, whatever, you fire, you fire, bro. We don't, you know what I'm saying? But but I am a little biased with my Hispanic people. (laughs) If if you're Hispanic. I I put you, I help you out even more, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, oh, Especially yeah, yeah. if you fire, you know what I'm saying? If it'll be like, come on, man, I'll shout you out or do something because yeah. I want to see more of us, you know what I'm saying? And this and it's dope, like you know what I'm saying. You you heard of, um what do they shoreline mafia? Shoreline mafia, yeah, oh, man, you know, yeah, but Mexican cat, you know what I'm saying? What he threw motherfucker, so he you Cali. know you yeah, yeah, love, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They 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 fire with it, man. So yeah. yeah. We we are we we creeping up, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more here yeah. and there, you know. So it's cool, man. We just gotta, we just definitely need need, need more people out here, man. We need more. Yeah, yeah. But I was finna tell you, like, cause you know, I kept G for a minute. He was like, you know, the best. I ain't gonna say the best, but he like the known, like at that time, like he was the best, like fucking like Hispanic, like with Mexican. Mm-hmm. You know, he like he was popping basically, like he was the only one. Show, like, yeah, like before Showtime Mafia and. Yeah. Lil Zang, I, I mm-hmm. just found out he was Hispanic too. Yeah, you I gotta, found out he was Mexican yeah. too. I ain't know. I ain't know. Yeah, but yeah, like Cap G was shit. Like you know, like damn, that shit was up now. But now, now in twenty twenty, it's like, bro, we like fucking. You yeah, no, nah, like, I've seen it everywhere, and I'm yeah. glad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shout out to uh, Snow, the product. She's she's a female. She's she's been out for oh, a yeah, long fact. time too. She's been killing it. She's like, she's Mexican. She's Mexican. You didn't know I that? I thought she was fucking um, Salvadorian, bro. What God. the? I mean. Oh, God. I thought she was Salvadorian. Yeah, why did you say that? Why? I don't know. Because I think somebody told me she was. Because, you know, I'm not. I, I don't. Personally, me, I don't listen to her. Because, like, yeah. you know, I don't listen to females like that anyway. Yeah. So. Nah, but she's fine, man. She can chop it up, man. She, she's. That's the home. It's one girl. She's from Atlanta. I don't know. I think she's from the South. Uh, Blatino. Blatino. Yeah, yeah, she's cool. I, I fuck with her shit, too. Yeah. yeah I seen yeah. her. I seen her. Every time she go live and I'm on my shit, I click on it and shit, mm-hmm. and I be dropping some um some little uh, heart emoji. Nah, nigga, nah. <laughs> I was trying to think of something crazy, but I'm like, nah, nah. So I, I be dropping the one hundreds on it, like keep doing your thing. Nah, she's fine. Right. Yeah, she's yeah, fine. Yeah. I fucking I fuck with her shit. Then now we got the like baby young again. Like you know, he's I guess a new thing, especially mm-hmm. peso peso. He like. I fuck yeah. with Peso Peso because, yeah. like, he's showing love to all the fucking yeah. Migos in Texas. Like, Yeah, and that's what that's it one is. Thing I that's love what you're about supposed shit, to yeah. do, dog. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And I think a lot of the older generation Mexican Americans that mm-hmm. were doing music yeah. kind of lack that. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog, you got to understand that that's what these people do. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to unite <laughs> and yeah. collab. But and you do. get a lot of respect from that shit, though. Right, I mean, yeah, yeah. You get yeah, hella yeah. respect from your own goddamn, you know, like showing love to your own people because that means, like, more people from their city and shit. Like, you go to Chicago and, you know, show love. Like, let's say you blew up. You go to Chicago. And, cause you, man, people sleeping on Chicago is, like, a big... Chicago got a lot of people out there. I did a show with Chicago out there. Man, it's hard out there. It's down. huge. Yeah, there's a lot of Mexicans out there. Mexican community out there. I ain't even known until I had seen, like, top 10 Mexican rappers from mm-hmm. um Chicago. Mm-hmm. Man, some of them motherfuckers go hard, bro. Yeah. I'm like, damn. No, nah, they're everywhere, bro. Like, we everywhere. Like I said, we just need more of that exposure. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, it's like you can't be like, man, we don't have nowhere to go. I mean, we're at a we're at a time where mm-hmm. every everything's kind of open for us. We just, though, we're the ones that have to kind of, you know what I'm saying? You got to put yourself on in, 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 in a lot of ways to just, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying, to get your own exposure. But to get co-signed from somebody big, you know what I'm saying, like, like you heard of King Lil G? Yeah, from, like, from, from, from Cali. Cali. Yeah. yeah, yeah, from Cali. Like he he had mentioned something like that. Like he was always like, "Yo, what's up with the codes? I'm from these other big yeah. artists out there on the west side that he felt like was good. <laughs> like they wasn't showing love like that." But man, man made his own lane. Like, bro, yeah. I feel like that's he made his own lane. But to be honest, he's like popping on the west and like you know shit like that between. But like when mm-hmm. it comes down to the down south, it's like he got a little fan base, mm-hmm. but it ain't as huge as his west and shit. So. Mm-hmm. I be thinking, like, to me, like, I don't know. I think as the upcoming, like, you know, or, like, any Mexican artist, you got to, like... Mm-hmm. To me, 6 9 had it all, like... Yeah. Man, this motherfucker had it, like, you just don't know. Like, he yeah. put the Mexicans, like, up there, but then he brought us all yeah. the way down for doing that bullshit. Yeah, but, that shit. And, bro, I was, a, I was a fan of his music. Yeah, I was, too. Like, like before all the fuckery, I was I fucking was with for his that shit. man. Yeah. I'm like, damn, bro, this is fucking Migo finally yeah. got damn, on song. Because it was, like, fucking, um... Uh, you heard this group called Onyx. Onyx, no. From New York, you know? Mm-mm. Man, they, 
that's what his shit reminded me of, like a oh, mixture yeah. of uh, hope. Man, look, you gotta look them up, man. It's um, the onyx. Yeah, you gotta do your homework, bro. <laughs> they um, let me see. Yeah, they um, they from up top, man. Fucking emails, man. God. On it. This shit crazy though. But yeah, man, six nine got down. You know he was going crazy with the um fucking music, man. But it's just like he fucked up by doing all that snitching and man, it make they made a little it make everybody look bad. Well, not everybody, but it just yeah, man, that shit was horrible. That yeah. shit was horrible. But we was fans, but yeah. see what happens with that motherfucker. He come out and. Get shot or oh, something. That's right. You know why? I mean, can't Wait, do nothing. How did you even get on the tour? Like when you know. You um. Said. Well, like I said, my manager. He um. Shout out to Max Manny. Mm-hmm. He, um. He's my producer. You know, I'm pretty much under him and what we doing and shit. He produces and rocks with everything I do is yeah. because of him. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, a little quick about him. He um. He he done did some shit for Rihanna and Future. He, he produces, so he... Uh, oh, that's a pro- Yeah, that's producer. my producer. Yeah, 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 he's a Grammy winner, dog. This dude is, is, is nasty with it. He does crazy shit, so... Yeah. Big names. T.I., Wale, Rihanna, you know, the list goes on. Yeah. But um, he um he reached out to um to Magic, and um, they grew up... He's from Arizona, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So he reached out to him, and you know what I'm saying? We talked some business, and he heard the music. Fucking with it, so gave me an opportunity to get on board and be part of what he's got going on. So, that's show hard. love, dog. You know, it's like I said, that's that's crazy. People <laughs> really, who's going? Yeah, I fuck with him so much. Let's go. Who's doing that? You know what I'm saying? So, what was the feeling when you got the call or the tape? Like, hey, you're on tour now. Yeah, man, it was like you I, mean, like I was there. excited. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like until we hit that road that's when i was like bro we finna hit these states like it's crazy i ain't never been out here was you like more nervous or more excited would you say it was like i was nervous in the fact that like um like damn these these are gonna be none but all mexicans you know all hispanics you know what i'm saying because like i said my crowd has been a little bit of everybody type Mm -hmm. but man when it came to that shit it was like that shit was different i was excited dog It, it, it really Put me on something else, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it did. Like, damn, man, like you said, you never travel outside of uh, <clears throat> Georgia and shit like yeah, that. You finally went yeah. to the West Coast and got a taste of it. And so when I said that, I forgot. I said that shit like, I think we was in Cali when I said that. I was like, bro, that's my yeah. first time out here. Woo woo. Motherfuckers were like, yeah. And then you heard a few was like, bro, motherfucker, what you mean? I was like, I was like, yo, I'm going to be back some more, man. You know what I'm saying? But well, then yeah. had you like opening up for everybody on tour? <laughs> yeah. So it, it um, I, I'd open up the show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and then you could say it was probably like um, it was usually just us three most of the time, me, mm-hmm. Magic, and Rob, and and these are the huge records they all got. You know, they all yeah, got yeah. crazy records, bro. So it's like kind of, you know, what I'm saying trying to be up to them standards already is <laughs> like yeah, yeah. So I man, I had to go out there and got them get it, dog, and I put out a show and first one we did um, like we did Oklahoma. Oklahoma City, something like that, yeah. And, like, psh, bro, after the first record, dog, like, everybody was like, you know how they look at you oh, yeah, when yeah, then yeah. nobody know <laughs> you? Like, what the like, fuck? Who is this motherfucker? Man, who is this motherfucker? Like, bro, DJ just yeah, yeah. play his shit and get them off, bro. So I, I went out there, you know, and you learn that as an artist, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? You know, when people are just looking at you like this, you got to win them over with your shit. Like, that's what you're there for. Mm-hmm. That's what you're there to do. So you got to win them over, man, and. After that first record, if you play it and they kind of ain't with it, yeah. then it might not beat your crowd, you know what I'm saying? Or it might be your music, man. Because yeah. I'll be telling people, like, going on tour, it might be it good for you or it might not be. Because, like, mm-hmm. some people, like, you know, they got to come out their pocket to go mm-hmm. to city to city. And you might lose because the people might not oh, even yeah. fuck with your music, mm-hmm. you know. And you be like, damn, man. Mm-hmm. Got to go to plan B. Like you said, it's always money in that yeah, shit. Yeah, no, it's, it's investing, dog. It's, oh, I did yeah. countless of shows. I would... That was one of the things that I'd, I'd learned. You know what I'm saying? We'd hit every club out here in Atlanta. We'd hit uh, pretty much everything. You're like, okay, what now? Like, it's only going but so far. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what now? I'd have been at the radio stations. What now? We don't hit the record. As you know, we hit a million um, a couple of days ago with one of the records me and Cap got. And the more Cap G, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, hit a million. Yeah, hit a, mu- uh, a million the other day. So it's like, you know, what, what else? 
But oh, yeah. once we started hitting the, you know, outside of the city, that's when you realize, like, dog, it's beyond this shit. Like, oh, yeah, you fact. gotta, you know what I'm saying? I, and it sounds ignorant, dog, but that's a lot of us mentalities. Like, but if fact, I can't yeah. make it here, I can't make it nowhere. And it's true, it's here. Oh, yeah. But, dog, there's thousands and thousands of people elsewhere, you know, in other, oh, yeah, and in smaller cities where they they can't reach you out here, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta mm-hmm. come to them, dog. And, I did. I was always looking out for, um, like, promoters that, that, you know, different clubs. And I'd hit them up, like, yo, my name's so-and-so, woo-woo-woo. I'm not asking for no opportunity. I'm, I'm What's the ticket? <laughs> to open yeah, up for that, so-and-so. That's real, though. You got to... Yeah, yeah. Because the motherfuckers ain't going to give you no handout. Hey, man, nah, like, here you go. Know you Unless, gonna... like, your shit, like, really, really go hard and they right. have, like, believe in you. Then, if hey, it's somebody, yeah. if it's somebody put the word, and even then they gonna be like, eh. we still give you a little discount, right? Bro. We still yeah, gotta pay. You know, yeah, we, yeah. we might let him get a song in for three hundred or something. Yeah, and yeah. I was paying that shit. I, I went to North Carolina, went to Florida. I was paying for my own fucking um travel, travel yeah. my own food. Me and my brother, bro, we go hit the rental and my other partner and shit. And see, people don't know that there. shit. They think like when they be like, oh, you coming to talk? Nah, sometimes you paying for that shit yourself. You paying yeah. for all that shit? Yeah, going to but Texas it's just like it's good because you getting that exposure you know that that's yeah. it that's right. really what it is dog this yeah. you got to take this shit into your own hands and, and 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 push bro like no one is going to give you shit dog like nobody gives a fuck about you first oh, of yeah. all it's like you play you want to hear my shit no i don't like you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you have to pay for this shit like oh, yeah. you have to pay the djs bro i'll be at the club i'll be like yo, yo play my shit be like nigga you do r&b like <laughs> like, what, what kind fuck? of me, what you mean like i can't play your record right now bro like you, you, you fucking sing it yeah, yeah you're gonna you bet so you have to you gotta do your homework bro oh, yeah, like fact. you gotta know where to go oh, yeah so i'd go to these like open mics mm-hmm. where i know it'd be a whole bunch of bitches or i'd hit up like okay i fucking not chris brown but somebody else that's kind of you you know that does music mm-hmm. like you know what i did or whatever and i'd look up where they gonna perform at like kirko bangs i did a show for, with this motherfucker in um in denver yeah so you know what I'm saying? Amanda Perez, another uh, Mexican uh, chick. Sure, you know, yeah, she's yeah. <laughs> right because off the fucking boards too. So I had reached out to somebody at, at the show. Uh, she's a singing R&B chick. Okay, let me reach out. So I did that. And then, you know what I'm saying? I reached out to the uh, promoter. Dude was cool. Mm-hmm. And then he just was like, all right, bro. So what, what you want? And we was kind of feeling it. And he was like, man, I like, look, bro, I'm in Atlanta. I want to open up for her. What's the ticket? Man, shit, 300 I was like, okay, cool, but I'm coming from Atlanta. He was like, oh, what? Yeah. He thought I was like from around the corner or something. Yeah. You know, he was like, man, you going to pay to come out here? I was like, dog, I got to get it. He was like, all right, right bet, look, because you're doing that, I'm going I'm to knock it out of 150. Cause, but, you know, he wanted to hurt mm-hmm. me. So I sent him the records, and he heard this shit. He was like, man, this is fire. Like, I'm listening to it in the car now. Like, all right, you know. Um, I'm gonna still charge you 150. Yeah, discount, <laughs> but you go, yeah. You know, so, but you still got to come out here. So I booked my flight, brought my brother out with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, fact. We got out there and we was, we ain't know nobody, nothing, dog. We booked the hotel, everything, bro, and just went into the show, did it, gave out CDs. Motherfuckers was looking like CDs. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like I went old school on ass and just did it, dog. We brought like 300 CDs. I'm I'm at the airport. Passing fucking looking crazy because I got a bag full of CDs. They like, where the fuck you going with all these CDs? Oh, yeah, no, I'm yeah. finna go do a show, bitch. You know, this was a couple years back. So I did that, bro. And Colorado that night, there was probably like 400, 500 people in that venue, dog. Shit. And I went first. And then there was, no, I went second. There was some dude that was local. And then I came out. And then she came out. So mm-hmm. after that shit, people were like, yo, like, that was fucking crazy. Like, where are you from? Like, from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh, what? Like, it just, it changed it. Like, you know oh, what I'm saying? Right. We got like 300 followers that night, all females, so a couple dudes, you know, but the, the fan base. Oh, I, yeah, the I, fan and that's when I was like, yeah. okay, I just can't pull up to no regular ass shows. It's got to, you got to know your lane, like what you're doing, the type of music that you're doing. Yeah. Because before that, like I said, it'd be motherfuckers on some old, crazy hype shit you know mm-hmm. it'd be a whole bunch of nba young boys out there and then i go out there with some old girl i'm finna like what do yeah. you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it wasn't for my show it yeah. motherfuckers be looking like man if you don't get out of here with this singing ass shit like they here to turn <laughs> up and you know what i'm saying like but, you crazy, so yeah. you gotta know your lane bro that's oh, yeah, first of most you gotta know you gotta do your homework and, and what you doing you know what i'm saying and right this shit for real for real it's a learning experience ain't nobody unless oh, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with people in the business already, then 
You know what I mean? You're learning as you go. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's what I did. But in a couple of years, I was Googling shit, talking to different people, paying to go sit in and sessions just to maybe hear some shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of people don't do, dog. Like, I was spending money just to go sit in a session with motherfuckers that didn't even want to do music with me. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Fact. Like, for real, just I pay for an hour or two. I tell the producer, like, hey, man, you know, I'm just going to chill right here. My session be over. And they be like, nah, I mean, it's a close session. I just think, come on, I'll throw you a little couple of dollars. All right, I'll just tell a motherfucker you my homie or some shit. <laughs> you know what man, I'm saying? And yeah, I yeah. sit there, motherfuckers come in, and I picked up game on different stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and that's really what it is, dog. And everybody feels like I'm going to foot this song out. It's going to take off, and that's it. No. You got to put the that work. That shit, yeah, you got to spend money to push this shit. Like, it's crazy, bro, so. What you got new for, um, you know, for 2020? We, man, we music 2020, wise. man, we got... We got more records, bro. We um, we got my first album. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I Drop got like, way. it should be within this next month, man. We had um, the weather out here has been so crazy that oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying we couldn't shoot the video outside, so it was raining and it'd just be crazy. Like we was up at um over there by the Centennial. Yeah. We caught a couple couple footages and stuff, and then it started just pouring. Oh, yeah. And you got a motherfucker out there with the gimbal and the red. And we was like, cover the camera. Oh, yeah. It's a well, thousand, you can, yeah. you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. I was like, man, let's go, dude. Oh, uh, you can't yeah. let that shit get away. Hell no. Nah. Old boy on. was mad. He was like, man, you know, I, we can't do it today, Kirby. It's just, it's a rap, dog. We, I was like, let's go shoot the inside shots that the, you know, can't we get had. That way, he was like, man, we got to nah. go. Yeah, you can't. He was, he was past. Yeah, you you can drop visuals with the um, yeah. with the um, album. Mm -hmm. I have to. Not with this one, I do just because it's my project. It's my first project as a, you know, you know independent. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Solo artist. So it's like Is it just yeah. you? Yeah, it's just me. I mean, I got um I got a couple features on there from uh two singers. One girl from um from Cali. Well oh uh, yeah, the, he's uh, Chaz is from Cali too. He's a singer. Yeah. He's five with a writer and shit, you know, and mm -hmm. I got Cap on there too. Kaji? Um yeah. Oh yeah. And um a couple other people, man. So you know, hey, but you, you know, wait. when you said you, you said probably next, next month, month, man. Yeah. yeah, we're just like I said. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm tightening it up, man. I'm putting all these, you know, loose ends together and getting everything together, man. Because oh, yeah. like I said, it's, it, it takes, you know, what I'm saying a lot of work, dog. It's like I wish it was as easy as everybody just throw the music out and, you know, what I'm saying you got to have a, a game plan, bro. Like oh, yeah, you got to right. have a plan on what you're gonna do. So yeah, we came up with um, nice little strategy on how we go do about what we are gonna do and. You know, you always got people telling you one thing. Nah, man, just do this, do that. But you know what I'm saying? Once you learn certain things, it's like it works and it's, yeah. it's been happening. So why not? You know, why change it? So, yeah, so we just going to shoot the video, put the album out with it and just, um, you know, just push it, man. Just we got a couple, about like 15 songs on it. Yeah. So we're going to get that going and, and just probably start shooting videos right after that. Oh, yeah, every song. Like they're like, no, every song don't need a video. Yeah, it do. <laughs> Behind you, the ticket. It's in the box. Hell yeah! But um, okay, so we gonna get it, man. Hell yeah, man. This shit, this shit, dope as fuck though to be like on tour and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That was, I was, I was wondering like, but you know, like you say, it's a learning process from all that shit. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! Before damn, this shit at forty. You say you wanted to keep it at what twenty? <laughs> <laughs> I told, yeah, yeah. Nah, like you 40. get to talking, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. But you know, like, I was gonna ask you, you know, like, which like you know, like. Damn, like how how like what type of knowledge and like you know you, you like you learn from like the people you was on tour for that you get any knowledge or wisdom from them and that you ask them? Yeah, all the time. Like I said, I've always yeah. been somebody to just sit back and watch, bro. <clears throat> and like these dudes, they've been grinding for so long, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they I used to ask a couple questions, you know, here and there, like, hey man, how you do with this and that? Or how'd you deal with this situation? Or who mm -hmm. did you, you know, who did you talk to and stuff? And they would they would definitely tell me certain things, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you got to realize, I think with me, I've always kind of been humble about what I've done, you know what I'm saying? And that's one thing they was always kind of like, nah, bro, like, you got to realize, like, dog, you've, you've made it this far. Like, these are who you fucking with, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you got to approach certain things a different way. Like, you can't always, <laughs> excuse me, like, you know what I'm saying, let people have their way, you know what I'm saying? Like, just how to handle being on the road and you know what I'm saying doing certain things and they definitely schooled me on some stuff bro like you know they the OG so you know I sit yeah, back well, and watch yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. a lot of stuff man it's 
just off the top of my head, it's like kind of like, eh, what? But man, you sit back and you watch how these people move. move yeah. It's like, okay. Like you said, like they're still eating to this mm-hmm. day. Like it's crazy. Yeah, dog. Like I'm talking about sold out show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing with me is like, you know, you, you when you go do a show like that, you know, the venue has dope sound. You know what I'm saying? So you got to learn yeah. how to do sound, sound check. check. Yeah. yeah. I be going out there. I ain't know what to do. I was just like, all right, play the, play the track, play the beat. And I sit there trying to sing over it, and then it just sound horrible when I move around. You got to know what to do. Yeah, you got to yeah. rehearse it basically. And that's back what it on was. Stage yeah, of check, course. Yeah. So I didn't know how to do no sound check, buddy. Not not the way they wanted to do, do it yeah. for the venues, you know what I'm saying? So they right. kind of put me on with that. And I was like, okay, now it's like, I don't care what it is. It could be any little ass show or anywhere I go. I'm there an hour before to do sound check to mm-hmm. make sure it sound good, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, think two weekends ago. I got paid one of my family members and shit. They um they um they fam they friends. Mm-hmm. Um they they, they son had a birthday. Was, yeah, he had a birthday, birthday so yeah. he was turning like 18 or something. And, um he's a fan and shit and he was like, "Yo, they want you out here or whatever. You know how much you going to charge?" I was like, "Man, who is it? How cool you be? And we cool with him." Oh, yeah. I was like, "All right, it'd be this much." And then they were like, "All right, you know what it's going to be, you know, they agreed to it." They agree, yeah. I was like, "All right, bet, you know what I'm saying?" But then I was like, "Where is it? Boom boom boom, found now. I got the address." I was like, "I'm going to be there around pull this time up. to do sound check." Oh yeah. Yeah, they were like, "Sound check." I was like, "Yeah, what you I'm not just going to pull up and sound crazy horrible." Oh, yeah. I was like, "No, nah, dog, it's you got to take your craft serious." Yeah, 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 dog like right. and then that's it's true. You know what I'm saying? It's true like I don't care if it's three, four, five people. people yeah. We get it. And Every it's true. Show take a, a lot of this yeah. just sounds um, rehearsed and everything. Like, people tell you the same thing, but it's what it is. Oh, like, yeah, it's fact, true. Fact, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been like, to dog, a lot of shows. I've been seeing that shit. Hell yeah. People get lazy, dog, and now mm-hmm. uh, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Until you get to the position where I've seen mm-hmm. it, it's like, you'd figure you these be. dudes got yeah. all the money they they need. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they've done thousands and thousands of shows. You'd, be, you'd figure they'd be like, eh, pfft. Nah, you bro. Know, like that's still, one thing. Yeah, like yeah. to the point to the detail. The lights is right. My I can't hear out my left ear. Well, well, what's up with? Oh, okay, turn me up. Can I get some reverb on my shit? I want this shit get to sound sexy. Right in my face. Yeah, <laughs> like the fuck is messing with the lights up there, stupid ass? Like, yo, what's wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like yeah. dog. It's, so that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the venues and mm-hmm. all that that puts you on to game with that. And yeah, man, they cool, man. They some OGs. And like I said, being on tour with them just. Open up my eyes to different stuff. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. So now it's like you just pass it along to people. You know, like I tell everybody that I work with, like, yo, just make sure this, I got to show tonight. Make sure your uh, record is straight. If you need an edit version, because you never know, because dealing with these um, shows that I do with them, you know what I'm saying? It's it's all ages sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Some people bring the kids, and I was out there cursing. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But hell yeah. So what's next for you? Like, what's the big next go of? Well, like I said, man, we we was gonna start tour next week, but damn, coronavirus and fucked everything up, it man. Fucked my show up too, man. Bro, I'm that's mad as crazy. fuck about that. Yeah, it's gonna be bro. my first show, and I'm like, damn, man. We was supposed to be in um in Houston, the 28th, right? The 28th. Yeah, Houston, Houston. was on 28th, and then Austin on the next, right the next day. And I know you, man. Bro, cause I was I was getting ready to go. Bro, I don't I don't even want to speak about that coronavirus, cause it's the, like, man, it's, it's so much so much shit behind that really shit was going yeah, on. Yeah, dog, it is. It's a lot of shit, man. Oh, you just gotta plug in the merch too, man. I'm just yeah, keep man. looking at it and like, bro, yeah, y'all gotta get out the, to the shirt. You know, yeah. shit hard. USA flag with the Mexico shit. Mm-hmm. It ain't been put together like that too now, cause people been. Yeah, fact. they've been putting it together other ways, but the way I did it was um. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I ain't even really paying. You put Mexican American. Yeah, it says Mexican American on the side. It's got my name on it. If it ain't got my no name mer- on it, I mean, it, not to my no merch. Um, no website. No no. Yeah, just KirbyGomez dot com. They yeah. can copy this, right? Yeah, different they can colors copy that, too. Different colors. Um, I just got I uploaded the new merch for the album. Um, mm-hmm. a couple of days ago, so it's up. You know what I'm saying? It's running. Um. The orders, like I said, man, they they backed up a little bit just because of being mm-hmm. able to do all this. And you oh, know, yeah, facts, but, facts. but we've been keeping, you know, shout out to everybody mm-hmm. that ordered. You know, what I'm saying the Supporting shirts and, and shit. Yeah, yeah, man. But you you will get your merch soon. Like it's I happening. I love to see Amigo win for real, man. That's just yeah, man. Honest, bro. It's happening, man. That's yeah, why yeah. I'm here. You know, what I'm saying especially like in the said, music industry. I'm like, man, about fucking time. Damn, yeah, boy. hell this shit yeah, crazy, man. Bro. Yeah, we getting it, man. You know, we part of what it is. You know, what I'm saying that's why I'm here fucking with you, cause. It's like I said, I, I'm, I'm a little biased when it comes to my people because <laughs> oh, yeah, I want everybody to come up some way, somehow, dog. You know what I'm saying? And I be think part I'm going to be the first me go doing podcasts like this, especially hey. for the music. Hey. Yeah, no, nah, that's fine, bro. You know, we hey, then you put me in the history book, man. That's what it is. You got <laughs> put the bookmark in that motherfucker. That's where it starts. Hell yeah. Anything else before we close up? 
man, just, you know, make sure everybody show love to each other, man. You know, like right. I said, unity is what it is, dog. At the end of the day, we so what it is. We need each other, man. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Black, white, or Hispanic, anything. Just got to love what it is, man, and keep pushing for this shit, man. Hell yeah, yeah, facts, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, man, appreciate you for you taking your time coming to, you know, Already, to the man. podcast, I'm man. Here. Yeah, we get it again. When yeah, the, yeah. Hey, matter of fact, what I'm going to do when I drop the album, I'm going to come fuck with you on that. Oh, fact. So, yes, we can promote it. We can play no a couple pressure, records. Man. Yeah, we play a couple records or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I need to do some shit like that for yeah. real. A lot yeah. of people be telling me, like, come, like, can they play the album live mm-hmm. while we... I'm, 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 I'm going to find out how to do that type of shit. Mm-hmm. So whenever, I got you. No, yeah. I got... um. One of my people does all that. That's what they do. They DJ and they do all that shit while they doing it live. So, I oh, mean, shit. I can link you up with him. Fact, hey, I would yeah. love that shit. Well, you know, man, appreciate you, man. Go follow. Him. Oh yeah, what's your IG? At Kirby Gomez. Kirby Gomez. Yeah, Kirby Music, Gomez. All streams everything. too. Everything. Everything is Kirby Gomez. K I R B Y G O M E Z. Kirby Gomez. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. We out, man. Appreciate Let's you. Let's get it. He already know. <laughs>